Hello, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about lead times, which are how many days it takes to do something. They are used to plan and coordinate deliveries, replenishment, and other supply chain actions to get products to customers on time. In Odoo, we have customer lead time, purchase lead time, and manufacturing lead time, which you may have heard of before. As well, Odoo offers security lead times. Security lead times are like when you tell your habitually late friend to arrive at 1.30, even though the event doesn't actually start until 2 o'clock. Essentially, security lead times are buffer days to start some actions earlier than usual, just in case there are any unexpected delays. Alrighty, enough of this chit chat though, let's review each lead time and understand how they help Odoo plan and determine deadlines in order to ship products to customers on time. Let's start by configuring the product. To do that, we're going to click on the products in the menu and then products once again. Then we can go ahead and select our customized desk chair. Now, it should be noted that lead times are often used with reordering rules. So let's go ahead and click on the minimum, maximum, smart button, which is going to take us to the reordering rules page for this product. Here, we have a 00, zero manual reordering rule set. This specific rule helps us generate a request for a quotation anytime the forecasted quantity drops below zero. For more info, check out my reordering rules video, but right now, with our reordering rule set up properly, let's click on the breadcrumbs to return to the customized desk chair product page. From here, let's set up a customer lead time. From the product form, we're going to go to the inventory tab. And in the customer lead time field in the logistics section here, we're going to see that it's already set to 14 days. This ensures that every sales order for the product has an expected delivery date 14 days from the order. The customer lead time is used as an overall estimation of how things should usually take to arrive. If you're noticing that your customers are getting products too late or too early, you might want to adjust this here. Before moving on, I'd like to note that the customer lead time represents the time it takes for all the supply chain actions to get the product to the customer. But the other lead times like purchase or security lead times are evaluated separately. Let's get into the sales security lead time, the other lead time that affects delivery dates. For that, we're going to go to the configuration menu and select settings. Now, in the search bar right here, we're just going to go ahead and type in lead time. You'll notice that the security lead time for sales is already activated. It's set to one day, which pushes the delivery deadline up by one day. This means we'll prepare the orders one day in advance all the time at this company. See what that looks like. Let's go to the sales application and see how the delivery dates are affected. First, let's go ahead and create a new quotation by selecting new. And I'm going to go ahead and pretend I'm a salesperson and I'm placing an order for our customer Deco Attic. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a product by selecting add a product and we're going to choose our customized desk chair. From here, I'm going to confirm the order and in the confirmed order page, we're going to notice that the order date is set to today. Next, let's go ahead and click the delivery smart button that appeared at the very top of the page. Then the deadline field here, we're going to notice that the date is set to 14 days from today. That's our customer lead time. The scheduled date directly above is one day before the deadline because we have the security lead time for sales set to one day. Makes sense, right? And because we don't have this product in stock, we need to order it from our vendor. Odoo can take care of scheduling purchase orders for us based on the scheduled delivery date. So let's go over to the purchase lead time next. To do that, we're just going to go ahead and click the customized desk chair in the product line to quickly get back to the product form. This is the time where we're going to go to the purchase tab right here. Here we can set the purchase lead time for a vendor, which is another way of saying how long it takes for a product to arrive in our warehouse from a vendor. By modifying the figure in the delivery lead time column here on the vendor line, we gave Azure Interior five days to send us this product. Next, let's go over to the security lead times for purchase. To do that, we're going to go to the inventory application and select the configuration in the menu and hit settings. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to advanced scheduling, where we'll go ahead and find the security lead time for the purchase. And we can already see that it's activated and set to three days. 
With that in place, this means the deadline to send a quotation for this product is pushed up by three days. While we're here, let's also quickly focus on the purchase date field. This is the amount of time it takes the vendor to review and confirm our purchase order. I set the days to purchase to two days since I know the manager at Azure Interior doesn't check his email very often. Alrighty, with all these in place and set up, we'll notice that we, this adds up to 11 days. The customer and purchase lead times are defined per product, whereas the security lead times for all items of the company. Make sure to take note of that. Now let's go to the sales application and deliver the customized desk chair that's expected in 11 days and see how Odoo helps us plan everything. Alrighty, here's a new quotation to see how this all works. From here, I'm going to go to the other info tab and down in the delivery section, I'm going to check on the delivery date field here and set it to a date that's 11 days from today. And then I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Oh, doopsie. When we do that, we get a warning saying the chosen delivery date might not be fulfilled because the delivery date is sooner than the expected date. Remember, Odooers, this warning is based on the customer lead time, which is calculated separately from the purchase lead time and security lead times for sales and purchase. Now, after we close this pop-up, let's go ahead and confirm this quotation. And be sure to remember this sales number right here, 43. Now, since we don't have this chair in stock, the reordering rules we set earlier should have generated a request for a quotation or RFQ for us. So let's go check it out in the purchase app. In the purchase app, we have an RFQ that was generated from the reordering point. We know that because it says OP6 and the source document, like I remember to ask you, is sales order 43. So let's click the line to open this RFQ. From here, you'll see that the order deadline from the vendor needs to be confirmed within two days from today. That's the two days purchase lead time we set up. Perfect. Then the expected arrival date here is five days from the order deadline date because that's the expected arrival date that is calculated by adding the vendor lead time to the order deadline, which in this case equals five days. What's also interesting is that there's a three day buffer between the scheduled date and delivery date order and the expected arrival date on the purchase order. That's because the security lead time for the purchase is at work. We expect the products to arrive at our warehouse three days before the scheduled date for the order. And there you have it. That's how these different lead times work together to make sure your orders arrive on time. For more information on manufacturing lead times, refer to this video. Thanks for watching, stay timely, O-Doers, and see you soon.